Welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Hey, welcome back to the Tom Ferry Show, episode 287. Let me ask you a question. If I grabbed your phone right now and I opened up the calendar, what would I see? What would I see? Would I see a schedule that is organized, that is packed, full of the right activities, moving the ball forward, getting you in the best possible position to win? Or might I just see some blank spots? Well, here's what I know. In this business, if it's in your schedule, it gets done. And if you're trying to do it by memory, we both know what happens. So what I want to do today is I want to walk you through what I believe is the most ideal, most ideal schedule to help you achieve the goals that you have for 2024. I don't think it's going to shock you to hear that to me, the day starts with an ideal morning routine. Now, I don't know what time you get up. I like to get up super early. I know people that sleep until seven. I couldn't imagine it, but it's true. Whatever time you're getting up today, get up a few minutes earlier. I promise you, you'll be able to get more stuff done and you'll feel better about the day because you're just getting started before everybody else and that's always a good idea. So here's your morning routine in a nutshell. I think you should do something that's going to get your heart rate up, going to make you feel good because when you feel good, you perform good and I don't think you've ever gone to the gym, walked the dog, got on the elliptical and said to yourself afterwards, darn it, that was a bad idea. No, you always say, I have to do this every day. I feel great. Remember, when you feel good, you perform good. The second thing is something around your mindset. And to me, this is, whether it's affirmations, prayer, meditation, reading something good, listening something good, what I'm looking for is some mental stimulation to create some new synapses in your brain to get yourself fired up. Because when you get yourself fired up, you've already exercised, you know, you've seen your family, you had some fun, and now you're ready to start the day. If your current morning routine isn't doing that, it's time to make an adjustment. Now, the second part is, I'm going to say to you, I believe you should get to the office at the same time every day. I think you should have office hours. Is it Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, weekends by appointment only? Something to the effect that you show routine in your business. We all know the same thing. When you get into success routines, you win. But when every day is kind of, come on, seven, right? Let's see what happens. That loosey-goosey style, that loosey-goosey behavior does not support greatness in this business. So I don't care what time you get there, but I'd love for your voicemail to say, hi, you've reached Tom Ferry at Banana Real Estate. My office hours are Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, weekends and evenings by appointment only. Thank you so much for leaving a message. I'll get back to you at my service convenience. And then literally, that becomes how you run your business. Now, if you look at the next part, part three, I call it the business morning routine, different from the fire yourself up, get yourself going, right? Morning routine to stimulate the body, stimulate the mind, get yourself ready to go. Here, I'm looking for three things. Number one, for you to be the knowledge broker, which means you're gonna spend five, eight, 10 minutes looking at the MLS, looking at the new listings, looking at the recent sales, looking at if there's been any price reductions or expired listings, because this is how you can begin to see correlations in the market. What is going on right now with condos? What's going on with one bedrooms? What's happening with four bedrooms, right? What's happening on this side of town versus that side of town? So when people say to you, how's the market? You can have an intelligent conversation because nobody knows the market better than you. Can you believe that there are agents right now that don't look at the MLS every day? I saw a recent study that said the average real estate professional was looking at the MLS maybe once a week. I know that's not you. You're probably looking at it twice, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. That is an important routine. The next part of that is I believe you should practice. Yes, you should work on your presentations. You should practice and rehearse, whether it is calling a past client or sphere or doing an open house or practicing shooting a video or your listing presentation or your buyer consultation. And I know, you know, for decades I've shared this with people and I'm always blown away when people say to me, practice, that's eh, not really my thing. You know, like I'm not into scripting and I'm like, yeah, but you kind of do the same thing every time anyway. But have you ever taken the time to rehearse, to, to think about the cadence, to think about how your physiology and your tone that really is what ultimately impacts somebody, is what moves someone from a communication standpoint, that there might just be a better way to say it. And that, my friends, is why we practice. You know, I do 
a lot of speeches and I create a lot of content. Would it shock you to hear that even before going on stage at one of my roadmap events in the morning and the night before, usually on the flight over, I'm going through all the PowerPoints, all my presentations and I'm thinking about, okay, I'm going to say it like this and I'm going to do this and the crowd's going to go ha ha ha, right? Like I'm literally practicing and rehearsing and visualizing what's going to happen at the event. All of your money is made in communication. If you're not practicing it, start. That's all I'm going to say. So the first part is knowledge broker. I'm going to dig in. I'm going to understand the MLS. I'm going to look for pricing correlations. What's hot? What's not? What's moving? What isn't moving? What parts of town? I'm going to really get conscious of that. Then spend 10 or 15 minutes just practicing, practicing a presentation, practicing, you know, like the open house you're about to do, whatever it may be, just practice. Marketing is ever evolving and with the emergence of AI, the rate of change is faster than ever. Adapt quickly to AI driven marketing strategies or risk falling behind. This is precisely why we've created the AI Marketing Academy, a four week virtual intensive tailored to integrate AI seamlessly into your marketing strategy. You'll start with unraveling the basics of AI, then you'll get to grips with essential AI tools. And finally, you'll learn how to incorporate these tools into effective real world marketing tactics. Space is limited. Don't miss your chance to be a part of the future. The third part is what makes your business work. And, and I say, activate and do your daily number, right? Do your daily number, do your daily number, whatever that number is. I think of uh, my son, Steven, who's selling houses in Hoboken, New Jersey. Shout out to Steve-O. He is working with the Jill Biggs team. We were chatting this morning and I said, son, your daily number based upon your goals is 15 conversations a day. And I said, but we want to be mindful. Like we want to have 15 conversations a day, but that's, that's not the real reason why we're doing it. What we ultimately want is to schedule one appointment every day. Now, you might say, wow, that sounds like a lot. And he's a brand new agent. And he works on a team that literally they would hand him appointments. But he said, I want to get good calling out of, you know, out of the pond, right? The, the colder leads, because if I can refine myself there, then when I'm handed a, a better opportunity, quote unquote, an easier opportunity, if there was such a thing, I'll be able to perform even better. I love and respect that. Yes, he's my son. So, of course, I'm slightly biased. Same thing applies to you. What's your daily number? What's your daily number? What's your daily number? Is it 10 conversations a day? Is it 15 conversations a day? Is it eight conversations a day plus four follow-up conversations or getting through every single person I promised I would follow up on? But here's the thing. I started this by saying, if it's not in your schedule, it doesn't exist. If I were to open up your calendar and I didn't see morning routine, I'd be like, hmm, What's going on? If I didn't see at the office by eight, nine, whatever your time frame is, you know, at the office by X, I'd be like, hmm, wow, I bet this person allows whatever is happening in the morning to dictate the circumstances of their day. That doesn't sound like you're in control. That sounds like there's an outside force that's in control, not you creating your destiny. So I want to make that adjustment. Then I would say, well, show me when you get to the office, what do you do first? And it's not like, hey, Phil, want to go to lunch today? No, it's not that. Instead, it's, okay, open up the MLS, look for the correlations, understand the pricing. Okay, I kind of see what's going on. Hey, let me check really fast here. All right, the 10-year treasury's at, so interest rates are at. Okay, I'm a complete real estate professional today. I'm ready to go. Then practice, warm up, role play. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go, I'm fired up. And then I've got 90 minutes in my calendar, maybe two hours, I don't know to get on the phone, to have conversations, talking to my, you know, my sphere, talking to my clients, talking to leads, doing my follow-up, doing whatever marketing you do. And I don't mean like sending, you know, like direct mail. I mean, like if you're going to send some DMs, great. Send some texts, great. Shoot some personal videos, great. But you're creating that outbound opportunity to get people on the phone, to have conversations, to find one appointment every day. That is the third part of an ideal schedule. Number four, that's you managing your business. Hey, I'm working on my contracts. I've got a listing I'm about to launch. I've got a new open escrow. I want to make sure I'm in communication. I'm reaching out to the lender today. You're working on the, I lovingly call it the sausage making, if you will, of the business. This is stuff that we have to do. It's ultimately what gets you paid, but it's not going to bring you more transactions. Do you get that? It's not going to bring you more transactions. That was the, the section we just completed. I ensured my success in the future by having my daily conversations, by moving the ball forward, by doing my follow-up, by fulfilling all my promises every single day that I told that person I'd call you in three months, and I did, and I did, and that's why you're gonna win in 2024. So I'm gonna manage my business, and by the way, stop for a second. People ask me all the time, what should I post on social? I'm like, I don't know, how about that? How about 
How about you finish your morning routine and you go, whew, I worked out hard today, right? And then you get to the office at nine o'clock and you're like, huh, I'm the only one here, right? And then you look at the MLS and you find some correlations. You actually grab your phone and you go, hey, would it shock you to hear that today we have 22% more listings on the market today than we did this time last year in 2023? And you, you share a little bit of the insight on your social, in your stories. That sounds like a good idea. Then you practice, and by the way, what if you actually showed that? There's a, there's a level of professionals in the market that would respect the fact that here's a real estate professional who's practicing their ability to negotiate, practicing their ability to help customers, right? And then, actually, like I've seen people do this big shots like Katie Day in Houston. She'll grab her phone and she'll record like in that super fast mode of her making her phone calls and booking appointments and moving people forward. And you're actually showing people that you're doing the work. How powerful is that to show clients and prospective clients and your sphere that you're doing the work. Hey, today I have a buyer. There's no inventory. I'm going to circle dial around some recent transactions in a neighborhood where this person wants to be. And I'm going to show them how I do it. Here we go. And brrr, making the phone calls and it shows it in fast mode. You actually capture what you do every day. People will be inspired by you. Number five is of course, going on appointments, meeting with buyers, meeting with sellers, meeting with investors, meeting with your lender, Whoever is going to help you move the ball forward and you can help them, you can help them achieve their real estate goals. Now, I would just ask you to stop. Let's just go through it again. Number one is your morning routine. Number two is get to the office at the ideal time for you, but do it every day because those are your office hours. Number three is your business morning routine. The things I have to do to get the flywheel going and make my business really predictive. Then I'm going to manage, if you will, the sausage making of my business, transactions, marketing, communication, all the things that need to get done. And I'm going to have a block of time where I'm doing that every single day or maybe two, three days a week. And then the balance of my day is on appointments. Now, here's my question for you. What if, what if you did that 220 days in 2024? What do you think would happen? I want to see it in the comments below. What do you believe would happen if you followed a schedule and a routine like that in 2024? What do you think would happen? Leave the comments in below and maybe just send this video to one of your buddies inside the office and say, hey, you know what? Let's you and I do this. Let's, let's challenge one another. We both talked about making this year infinitely better than 2023. What if this is the way we did it? Now, if not this schedule, my question for you is, what schedule are you going to follow? Now, my last note to you is consider this. I was talking with one of my clients, Andy C. Andy is one of the top Berkshire Hathaway clients. The, the home services company actually works for Intero in Northern California, has massive market share in his, uh, in his area, tw um, 22 years in the business. We were chatting the other day and he said, you know, everybody can follow a schedule. You can follow a schedule, but you want to know what the degree of separation is, the real thing that makes the difference. So, so over here, you got, you know, Phil and he's just doing the work, doing the work, doing the work, following the schedule, making the phone calls. Oh, 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 and you just, you know, like you see people just almost like going through the motions. And then over here, you got Andy, you got Sarah, you got Sally. And she's like this. Okay. I'm following my schedule. I'm doing my practice. I'm looking at the MLS. I see the correlations. I make my phone calls. I'm scheduling appointments. I'm working on my deals. The degree of separation is doing the work with enthusiasm. So follow the schedule do the work and do it with enthusiasm. Thank you so much for watching today. I can't wait to read your comments. Share this with a friend that needs to see it. Remember always your strategy matters. And now more than ever in 2024, your passion and doing the work, that's what rules. Hey, if you like this content, make sure you get back to my channel and check out Jason Pantana, This Week in Marketing, the Tom Ferry Podcast Experience, and of course, Mindset Monday.